whether it's our Prime Minister, our Governor General, our State Premiers or just our local member, there are women at all levels of government in Australia. But while women have their hands on some of the nation's top jobs, only 28% of Australian parliamentarians are female. In Canberra last month, female representatives from all sides of the floor got together to discuss how Australia can do better. And in the spirit of the democratic process, our say brought the voice of the public to the seat of power. We wanted to know what Australia wanted to know about how women fare in the Australian political landscape. The third ranked question was a simple one. When it comes to politics, why is gender important? For Liberal Party MP Kelly O'Dwyer, gender is not the whole story, but diversity is crucial. The fact that we don't have all women on one side of politics um, is an expression of the fact that there are women with a whole range of different political views and they have different ways of expressing those views. And Labor member for Robertson, Deb O'Neill, says it's about unlocking new potential. Unless we get women into these roles, people don't see what's possible. The second ranked question was about quotas. Is affirmative action the best way to get women into Parliament? For Green Senator Larissa Waters, it's a simple matter of representation, and she has an ambitious suggestion. There's more women than men in Australia, so we should have more women than men in Parliament. And according to the Queensland Senator, it doesn't just stop with women. We also need more multiculturalism in Parliament. Um, we need more young people in Parliament. We need more gay people in Parliament. We should be a representative place. That is our job. But as O'Dwyer observed, it's often not that easy. What concerns me about the idea of, of quotas per se is that often women are put forward for marginal seats because they're seen as you know, good local campaigners and they're not considered uh, for what some people would describe as, as safer seats. And the top question? How can social media help women get involved and stay involved? Social media is a great way for people to communicate across distances. But, you know, we're still embodied people. We need to be active in our community in real ways, with real people. And with more and more women signing up to represent their communities in Parliament, it may not be long before we see equal representation. But as Waters says, there's still a way to go. We're making some good inroads in getting some better numbers of female representatives, but we're still not equal yet. And perhaps there is still a perception out there that it's, it's what the blokes do. Megan Clement for Our Say.